Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to 40 Minds. I'm Chris Ford, aka 40. This is a review of the brand new Hoka on a on a gift of five. So let's get stuck in. visiting 40 rounds make sure you hit that subscribe button down there and you'll stay up to date with all the latest running videos we've got coming out on the channel we've got more tips and hints reviews like this we've got all the running vlogs as well we've got plenty of other new stuff as well so hit that subscribe button you'll stay up to date with all the latest running stuff and get up to facebook as well and check out 40 rounds we've got a little running community going on there so join the group over on facebook and if you haven't yet check out 40runs.com and, and subscribe to 40 runs and that way you'll get all the latest news you'll get the blogs you'll get the vlogs and you'll get the offers and you'll get loads of other stuff so, so go up to 40runs.com and make sure you subscribe as well. So this is a review of the Hoka on a on a Clifton 5, so let's get stuck in. Hey guys, so here we go, this is the Clifton 5, the brand new shoe out from Hoka. Uh, this replaces the Clifton 4. Uh, a lot of people weren't that impressed with the Clifton 4, uh, but this really is a evolution of the Clifton 4, so I'm not sure how well this is gonna go down with many people. Uh, they've stuck to the uh, same sole uh, design, it's still got the high level cushioning, it's lightweight, it's a neutral running shoe, uh, it's got the same tooling as the previous model, uh, but it's got a new upper on it. So I think that probably the main difference is this new upper which seems to be a lot less, uh, it's, it, it more seamless I would say, it seems to be a bit softer. Um, this is a wide shoe, this is a UK 9 and it's still, I mean I've only started wearing these, uh, I'm going to obviously start running in them, but it's quite narrow still here even though they're a, a wide shoe. Um, it's light, it's 9.4 ounces, uh, which is a pinch lighter than my uh, Nike Pegasus, which is all replacing. And I'll be wearing these because I'm looking for a new marathon running shoe, a new marathon training shoe, because um, my Nike Pegasus have run out of miles. Um, they aren't the lightest hokers. Um, there's like other ones out there which you could definitely try. These, they're not the most cushioned out of the Hoka range. Hoka, obviously, if you're not familiar with them, I would definitely recommend you checking them out because there's pretty much a style of fit for everybody. Um, but these guys give us, say, the kind of everything I'm looking for uh, in my long distance running shoe at the moment. So they're not the lightest in the world, but they're not the heaviest in the world. Um, they've got the, the high stack, um, they've got the Meta Rocker as well, so I'm gonna get a nice push off. Um, and overall, I'm really excited about giving them a try. They've got a decent tread on them, which is great. Um, I say, uh, I will be running mainly roads but I will be doing a little bit of like tracks along the river and stuff like that so I still need a bit of grip. Um, but yeah I say first impressions is great. So I'm gonna get take these out, I'm gonna put a few miles on them and then I'm gonna come back and let you know what I think. So uh, let's go check these out. Ryan Little Hey guys, so I've got the Hoka 15.5 out on the trail. Feel great. Just a perfect fit, that hyper size bigger. Really pushing me on. Soft, springy ride. No problem on this gravel. I'm just crushing it. Anyway, I'm really pleased so far. Get you a bit. So I'm running these uh, Hokas now on the gravel. No slipping, no nothing, gripping real nice. I've got some tarmac coming up in a minute, which I think they're just gonna sail over, but in the gravel, they're all right. I went in off on, on some grass, a lot of trail thing, perfect. Um, but yeah, I certainly get on the tarmac, but I've got a feeling I know what the boss uh, is gonna be. So I'm running these hokers down on tarmac, they're an absolute dream. Have a look, see? Yeah, I'll say, uh, soft, springy, really moving me forward, so super impressed. So that's the end of the 
poker testing I wanted to do a run with them to show you well I've done runs with them but you know what I mean so you can see what they're like but overall I'm pleased with them but yeah they, they stand up to every surface so there you go so I'll catch you in a minute hey what's up so uh, I've been putting these uh, out on the test now uh, I've done what have I done I've done three half marathons I've done probably I don't know, 6, 12, 24, 36 kilometers, uh, just uh, weekly runs down the river and stuff like that, and these hokers now. Um, so I want to report back, give you my first impressions of the Clifton 5, uh, and gotta be honest with you, I'm suitably impressed with the Clifton 5. Um, they gave me a soft cushion, but smooth ride, um, slightly better than my Pegasus. I definitely feel uh, a lot smoother in them. They, for whatever reason, they feel a lot lighter than they actually, even though they're 9. Point, uh, what is it, 9.4 uh, ounces, they actually feel a lot lighter than that when I'm wearing them, which is great. Um, no problems around the, um, sort of this area, what is it, the shoe bit with your heel where your Achilles and all that goes in. No problems there, no problems with the lacing, no problems with the tongues. Um, that's all very comfortable. It does feel a pinch narrow, I say, well, I think I've said it before, these are the wide version I've got here. Um, and yeah, I can feel it. Okay, I've not done a huge amount of miles in these, and these are going to get better as I go on. Um, but yeah, they did, I did feel them the first couple of times I wore them out. Uh, they've held up. I say I'm only dry at the moment. It's it's pretty easy going out there. I'm not doing any rough terrain or anything like that. I'm just banging down the roads and dry trails and stuff. So they they're not even beating up at all. Actually, they've they've held the held up to that test already. The grip's great. Uh, I don't notice any stones getting caught in them or anything annoying like that. I say it, I even wore them once when it was sort of damp uh, and I didn't get any wet feet or anything like that. So I've got to be honest with you, I am really excited about this uh, Hocus. Um, I know a lot of people were unimpressed with the Clifton 4s. I never have been a Hoka guy before. Um, I never tried the Hoka 1 which was like the holy grail of the running shoe. Uh, but to me, I am really impressed with these and I've got a feeling that these boys are going to be my marathon shoe going forward. Um, I'm going to continue putting miles on them, but what I would say to you guys, if you're looking for a long distance, long run road shoe, I mean there's plenty of stuff on the Hoka website uh, and they say you can go to any running shops or even the Mammoths and stuff like that um, and check those out, but if you're looking for a road running shoe, um, you've got a neutral um, Bit as well, I don't think actually you're going to go too far on with the Clifton 5, but I would recommend getting the wide fitting if, like me, you're a pinch wider than normal. So that's my sort of review of it, conclusion. I'm excited, I can't wait to keep running in these. I might even get another couple of pairs of these um, because I feel like these guys are going to run me through the winter and I'm going to be using them in my spring marathons next year. So, Hoka. Fifth of five, massive thumbs up. Links below, uh, check them out. Uh, but yeah, definitely, uh, definitely think about it. If you've not tried Hoka, Clifton Fives, definitely check them out. That's it from me. Um, I'll catch you guys later. Hey guys, thanks for sticking around to the end of the video. I really do appreciate it. Make sure you give this video a thumbs up. If you've got any comments, stick them below. Say get over and check out the description out as well. I'm gonna put some links in there. I'm gonna put a video up here or here. I can't remember what it is, but definitely check that out because it's pretty cool. And don't forget to make sure you subscribe to this channel as well. But that's it from me and I'll catch you guys another time.